talk today was about screens, from TV screens to computer screens to mobile screen, and how screens evolved over time, and what are the implications of this evolution for brands and for marketers. But what's important in terms of the evolution is the evolution is driven by consumers. So consumers are driving the evolution of the screens in terms of what screens they adopt, what do they do with the screen, how do they interact, the evolution of consumption of content via which screen. So as consumers' behaviors are changing, it's critical for marketers to understand the evolution of consumers' behaviors. Because let me give you a very specific example. If a brand spends 90% of their media on TV targeting 18 to 25 year old men, if the 25, 18 to 25 year old men spend 30% of their time on computer and mobile screens, that is not a very smart way of spending money. So the evolution of screen has a huge impact driven by consumers' adoption on the media decisions and the creative decisions that marketers need to make. What, what's interesting about those screens is that they, they work together, actually. So campaigns that connect the TV work with search, buying keywords in support of the TV, gets a much higher results. Every time you run a TV campaign, you see search activity go up for your brand. So while people are looking for your brand online, you need to make sure to be there and to be there with interesting content. So consumers sometimes look at the three screens at the same time, mobile, computer, and TV. But even if they don't, there's a lot of synergies between the three screens for the marketers. And that's the, that's the complexity of the industry right now, is that you cannot develop content once and then make it available to the TV, computer, and, and, and mobile. The creative idea should be the same. The, the brand essence, the brand idea, the creative idea should be the same. But then you need to adopt different strategies from a content production and development for each screen. The, the, as I mentioned in my speech, a TV experience is fundamentally passive. You lean back. You, 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 you wait to be enjoyed and to be, uh, and to be convinced by entertainment. Uh, a computer is a very much of an active device. And a mobile is an active device that is very personal. So each screen has its uniqueness. And while the creative idea should be the same, you need to develop specific type of content for each screen. There is some research that, that shows where we ask people if there was only one screen you will keep, which one would it be? And they all say, this one, the mobile phone. Um, that doesn't mean that for a marketer, it's the most important screen. But it means for consumers, it is the most important screen. Um, I believe that the best advice I have for marketers and brand is to understand their consumers, their target audience, understand their consumption, of media and content across devices, across screens, and then make sure to develop their campaign to match that consumption pattern among consumers. I don't think Mexico is behind. Uh, this is a very uh, a new uh, technology and consumer behavior. The most advanced were really found in Asia. Uh, and it, and the, the innovation in Japan was driven by the, the mobile operator, okay. not by the banks. Um, so the mobile operator established uh, an environment where the mobile device was not just for calling, but was for many other things. So 10 years later, you can pay things with your mobile on, um, in Japan. Um, you still cannot in the US. In the US, it's still very much a pilot. So there's some test here and there. Uh, you can in Scandinavia, because Nokia, is the biggest handset manufacturer in the world. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't say Mexico is behind. Uh, it's just a matter of every country had a specific trigger point mm -hmm. that led to the development of, uh, of, of those new uh, uh, technologies and consumer adoption. Enhorabuena a la MAP por realizar de nuevo este encuentro internacional en el que participaron agencias de publicidad, de medios y anunciantes. El Encuentro Internacional AMAP 2010 Ideas para Crecer es parte de la cultura publicitaria aquí, en Estatus.